This is the story of the New York Yankees' grand heist when they decided to trade for St. Louis Cardinal Luke Boyd. Again, the 3 2. I didn't feel it. It felt like I got flicked by a finger. I don't know. I was speechless. I was just, I don't know. <laughs> just happy to get on base, I guess. The first time he ever comes to the plate of the big leagues. Got a smile on his face as he jumps down. To felt like a normal bat. It was, I don't know, man. Coolest thing in the world, especially getting that ovation I got. Um, it's going to be something I'll remember forever. I'm used to playing in front of 5,000 people, and all of a sudden it's 43,000 people. But, uh, because I remember sitting in the stands as a little kid, you know, thinking the same thing, you know, waiting for this opportunity my whole life, and dream came true. The pitch is swung out and a high fly ball. Deep center field. This is going to go for Luke Boyd's first major league home run. Going around, uh, you know, the bases, especially doing it at Bush, it's the best feeling in the world. You know, like I said, I told some other people, like, I wish that every little kid could, you know, your dream is to do something like that, you know, especially in front of their home crowd and uh, and then to get the curtain call. Luke Voigt was traded by the Cardinals at the August trade deadline last year after only 11 at-bats in 2018. It just didn't seem like he was going to have a role on the Cardinals, so the team opted to send them to New York. The Yankees announcing a trade. They've acquired first baseman Luke Voigt and some international signing bonus pool money from the Cardinals in exchange for Chase and Shreve and Giovanni Gallegos. And Jack, some fans will look at the trade and say, well, Shreve's been a big part of that bullpen for the past couple years. Gallegos, they've seen him on several occasions this year pitching pretty well. But there's a reason the deal had to be made. This is Felix from NYNews.com, and this is the biography of Yankees first baseman Luke Voigt. Voigt was born on February 13, 1991, in Wildwood, Missouri. Voigt attended Lafayette High School in Wildwood, Missouri. He played for Lafayette's baseball team as a first baseman and third baseman in his first three years, and as a catcher in his senior year. He also played for his high school's football team as a fullback and middle linebacker. Voigt was an excellent football player. He received plenty of interest from NCAA Division I teams, but a shoulder injury ended his football career. And that's when the Kansas City Royals took notice and selected Voigt in the 32nd round of the 2009 Major League Baseball Draft. Voigt did not sign. Instead, Voigt attended Missouri State University, where he played college baseball for the Missouri State Bears. After his senior year, the St. Louis Cardinals selected Voigt in the 22nd round of the 2013 MLB Draft. After signing, Voigt started his career as a catcher and made his professional debut with the State College Spikes of the Class A short season New York Penn League. Voigt spent the full year 2013 playing there, batting 242 with two home runs and 16 RBIs in 46 games play. He then moved to first base in 2014 and played that season with the Palm Beach Cardinals of the Class A Advanced Florida State League, where he batted 276 with nine home runs and 51 RBIs in 93 games. And it's quite an honor. I mean, there's a lot of good guys in this league and to get picked out of all those guys is pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited to go and uh, kind of learn from these guys and, you know, what they bring the table day in, day out, you know, how they go about it, you know, what I can take from that. He then returned to Palm Beach in 2015. He hit for a batting average of 273 with 11 home runs and 77 RBIs in 130 games. Voigt spent 2016 with the Springfield Portals of the Class AA Texas League, where he hit 297 with 19 home runs and 74 RBIs in a total of 134 games. Voigt started 2017 with the Memphis Redbirds of the Class AAA Pacific Coast League. Finally, Luke Voigt gets a shot. On June 25, 2017, the Cardinals promoted Voigt to the major leagues. In 70 games with the Redbirds, prior to his promotion, he was batting 322 with 12 home runs and 48 runs batted in. Voigt debuted against the Pittsburgh Pirates on the same night of his follow-up and got on base after being hit by a pitch. Voigt started the next day against the Cincinnati Reds and doubled off of Austin Bryce for his first Major League hit in an 8-2 win. On July 3rd, he hit his first Major League home run. 
On July 27, 2018, the Cardinals traded Boynt along with bonus pool money to the New York Yankees for Jason Street and Giovanni Gallegos. After the struggles of Greg Bird, Boynt took over the Yankees' starting first baseman job. He hit his 10th home run for the Yankees on September 20th, becoming the 12th player on the Yankees to hit 10 home runs during 2018. When Voigt reached the 10 homer mark, the Yankees set a new Major League team record for most players on one team with 10 or more home runs in a season. Voigt was named American League's AL Player of the Week on October 1st after hitting 458 with three home runs and eight runs batted in. Luke Voigt finished the season batting 333 with 14 home runs, 33 RBIs, and an OPS of 1,095 in only 39 games for the New York Yankees. And Voigt hasn't looked back since. Voigt just had a recent streak broken up where he reached base safely in 42 games. And so far this season, Luke Voigt continues to rank. In just 44 games, Voigt has hit 11 home runs with 34 RBIs, 40 hits, and an OPS of 861. Voigt clearly didn't get a shot with the Cardinals. There was no room for him at first base in a Cardinal uniform. Because Matt Carpenter, not even a bank throw, was a thought with younger guys in a outfield game. So he was traded. It turned out to be just the opportunity Voigt was looking for as the presence of the DH in the AL helped Boyd get the at-bats he was lacking. There's no question that the New York Yankees pulled a heist on the Cardinal. But do the Cardinals see it that way? No. They didn't have the flexibility, and simply, Luke Boyd couldn't get the at-bats to grow and improve as a player. But, as of now, Boynt is proving what the Yankees analytical staff is capable of. He's a perfect example. When this season started, did you ever envision being with the New York Yankees celebrating in this clubhouse right now? No, not at all. And um, you know what? God works in mysterious ways, and it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, who doesn't want to party in the biggest city in the, you know, in the country with the you know, greatest group of guys? It's been awesome.